What's up guys? Welcome back to WX Garage. Today, we are not doing anything super exciting. We're doing another ongoing maintenance thing and a maintenance item that you guys should be doing as well. Um, like we've said from the start of this channel, we want our videos to actually benefit the people watching them. These are not for entertainment value. We want our videos um, to be a source and uh, of information, a good resource for you guys to go to when you are working on your car, if you want ideas for working on your car, etc. cetera. So um, that being said, I don't think I'm quite due for um, replacing my spark, plug, spark plugs quite yet, but um, I do want to get a new set in just so I make sure that everything is ready to go for when I do my track day at the end of this month. We are now three weeks out, which is really exciting. So um, we do have a couple other things left before the track day, big things. But today I'm going to make this video short and sweet, show you guys how to do a spark plug change. Um, I do have a couple things that might make it, make it a little unique because I have the front mount intercooler, so these big charge pipes might be a little bit in the way, but um, I think the process will be the same regardless. So let me get, get you guys set up on a tripod and let's get started. First step is just removing your battery. Um, all you have to do is loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts. Always do negative side first. up on the way and then I'm actually gonna uh, get to use for the first time these really unique uh, set of tools which essentially is a pass-through ratchet set so I can go all the way down onto these 10 millimeters All right, and that means now we have access to the two tops of the coil packs here and where the actual spark plugs go in. On the uh, passenger side, guys, um, these are a little bit more accessible, um, and I've seen people do this without doing this, but um, I like removing the ECU. You can get this out of the way. Just two 10, 10 millimeter bolts. And the ECU can just get pulled out straight up like this. So now I'm just going to lay it up and out of the way here so we can access the coil packs, which are directly down here. So really quick, I just want to show you guys these, uh, which ones these are. These are the Laser Iridium Technically Aftermarket uh, NGK plugs. Um, they run uh, a little bit, they have a better temperature rating than the OEM ones. The OEM ones from Subaru are made by NGK as well, but I like these and I've never had issues with them. The part number is right here. And these do have and come with the uh, retained crush washers on the bottom of each one. So um, you guys will not have to buy additional crush washers. Oh, you do want to make sure the crush washer comes off with the old one. There's been a lot of talk in the past about fake NGK spark plugs, so always get yours from a reputable source. Um, I got mine from Flatirons Tuning. Um, Import Image Racing is good. Um, MA Performance, uh, RSD, Rally Sport Direct. Those are all companies I would trust. I would not buy these directly off Amazon, guys. So, uh, one thing I did see online was um, the cardboard sleeves do are, are a good way to identify if they're legit or not. Um, some come with plastic sleeves, so um, yeah. So I just wanted to use the GoPro really quick to give you guys a closer look at what we're working with here. This is the passenger side, and let's see here. Oops, let me get the light. Perfect, right there. So these are your two coil packs. We're gonna be removing this 10 millimeter bolt right here, and then there's another one right down there where I'm pointing. Um, 
pull those coil packs out, and then we can use our spark plug tool. So both of those are out. I'm just going to one by one uh, do the far one first, the one closer to the front of the engine, pull these coil packs out. And there shouldn't really be any resistance. It should just come out nice and clean like this. They're not covered in oil, which is awesome. I'm gonna tuck them back here for a second and then do the other one. So this is a spark plug socket tool. I'll leave a link for this in the description. This is a 14 millimeter. As you can see, it has a little retention rubber piece on the inside so that when we put the, this onto the back of the plug and take it out, the top of the plug will be retained by that rubber piece in there and you can just pull it all out without dropping it. So as you guys can see, there is quite a bit of oil buildup on this first plug. Um, unfortunately, this is kind of a common thing um, on these WRXs, essentially the um, valve timing cover or valve cover. Um, it does have the tendency to leak a little bit of oil every now and then. Um, one good thing is that I know that the gasket hasn't failed because when I pulled the plug out and I looked down in that the, the hole for the spark plug, there's not a pool of oil coming out. Um, and there's no oil on the rest of the plug. There's no oil on the, um, the actual coil itself, the coil plug. So um, it's just very minimal, um, you know, maybe another 100,000 miles, I would have to replace that. But for now, and we'll, and we'll take a look at the other plug on this side too, and then on the other side as well. But um, I'm not too concerned about this. So if you guys see this amount, I don't think you have too much to worry about. If you see oil pooling up and covering all of this, and the top of the the bottom of the the coil boot then uh yeah you might have to replace that which is very annoying because you have to pull the entire uh you might have to pull the engine you might be able to replace it just from here i don't know but yeah so that's what plug one looks like and i know some of you somebody's gonna say in the comments kevin that's not cylinder four so it's not plug four, plug one or cylinder one so it's not plug one i'm calling it plug number one because it's the first one i pulled out so Let's get the other side. There we go. So that looks quite a bit more normal. Um, just a little bit of wear and tear, uh, not any oil leaking. So it looks like it was, it's just that front one, which is good. So now that we have these out, I uh, might as well install the new ones on this side. Um, actually, yeah, let's just do that. So as you guys can see, top of the plug is being held in by this socket, by that rubber, so awesome. So in go the new plugs. And do the reverse order, start with the far side first. If you guys feel any resistance, make sure you back out and then try again because you do not want to cross thread a spark plug. It is the worst possible thing you can do because it means you have to basically pull your engine and then retap that hole. So we are always going to be very, very gentle. So this is the combination I think is going to work. This is a, if you have a 3 8 torque wrench, this is going to be a lot easier. I only have a half inch torque wrench, so um, you're essentially using a half inch to 3 8 adapter, the tiniest little 3 8 extension, and then our coil plug, uh, or I'm sorry, the coil socket, spark plug socket. <laughs> Words are really hard sometimes, guys. 
we're gonna go in, get that seated all the way on there. And we're setting this to 13 foot pounds and I'm going to do a little bit more right there. So very, very minimal guys. You do not want to overdo these. And that's it. For the next one, I'm not going to use the socket tool, uh, just a normal 14 millimeter socket to install it. Um, it's just going to make things a lot easier when we're pulling it back out. And again, guys, OEM spec for these is 13 foot pounds. I like to add one or two just in case my torque wrench is a little off. Now we just gotta reinstall those coil packs. We do the far, the back side first, so the one closest to the firewall. Make sure that those plugs, coil boots essentially sit down nice and neat on top of the spark plug. And again, you do not want to over tighten these. So um, this, the I think the uh, OEM torque spec is seven foot pounds. Um, so I'm using my tiniest 10 quarter inch uh, 10 mil socket and I'm just going to do these by hand because my torque wrench does not go that low. Boom. Done. So I'm gonna give you guys another closer look with the GoPro here. Uh, so these are the two coil packs we're looking at. Um, same process as the other side, 10 millimeter bolt to take the coil packs off. Uh, as you guys can see, the this side uh, sits a little closer to the frame. So it's gonna be uh, quite a bit more tricky to get that spark plug out. But um, let me show you guys. I actually might be able to do a little GoPro time lapse here. Right, there we go. That shouldn't be in my way too much. So this one looks good. Just some normal wear and tear. Nice. So that was from the front and driver's side one. Uh, the back one is going to be even more of a pain to get out. Looks good to me. Let's get the new ones in.
All right, so the battery's back in. Um, last thing we got to do here, let me wipe some of this coolant off. Um, and the last install I did. So everything is buttoned up, guys. Last thing we got to do is just uh, turn the car on, uh, let it run for a little bit. Make sure everything looks good. So I'm letting the car run for a bit, just get up to temperature. Everything sounds fine. There's no immediate codes for um, cylinder misfire. So that means we are pretty much good to go. Um, I will keep an eye on it over time, but uh, if you don't have a issue on initial startup, then you're probably good to go. Um, this is everything that I used uh, <laughs> to adapt and find the right sizes. Um, all the used plugs right here. Um, I just used a general set that has three eighths and quarter inch. So we had the quarter inch and three eighths socket size for 10 mil. We used the 14 millimeter for pulling or putting the bolts in, the 14 millimeter special socket tool for retaining those spark plugs, the pass through ratchet set for the battery, torque wrench, terminal battery cleaner, because I did that. Um, and then all of these little adapters and extensions um, and then a, a half inch to three eighths adapter as well so if you guys are doing spark plug, spark plugs yourself it is very easy and straightforward um, it is just awkward because of how tight the boxer engine is to the frame on the side so make sure you guys have a bunch of different socket sizes a bunch of different size ratchets and tools um, and then a bunch of different extensions and adapters as well and you will find the right combination that works for you. So like I said, guys, uh, this one is going to be short and sweet. Um, just wanted to give you an overview of what I'm doing, how to do your spark plugs. I don't want anybody to have uh, maintenance fear of breaking their car. Spark plugs are easy. Just make sure you're using the right tools and have putting in the right spark plugs. Um, links to all some of those tools and the spark plugs themselves will be down in the description. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we will see you very, very soon. Um, more content coming specifically for getting this car ready for the track and then of course more track content coming at the end at the end of the month so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit that like subscribe we'll see you next week peace